What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW action figure review on the brand new AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes figure, the Series 1 first figure in the line. Just like with the Unrivaled line, the Supreme Collection starts it off with Cody Rhodes, a figure in series that we have been desperately waiting for for a very long time, one that has been highly anticipated. I cannot wait to get into this review. I remember when they showed these off, wasn't it? UK Toy Fair, something like that, and we saw really zoomed out images of it, and we were like, what in the blue hell is that over there? And then we broke it all down, and finally we have the Supreme Collection in our hands, the AEW and Jazzwares equivalent of a WWE Mattel Ultimate. I cannot wait to crack these open, man. I can't believe they're here, honestly. You know, we've been waiting so long for them, but we did pick these up from Ringside Collectibles. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I think the potential for these figures is insane between this one, the Britt Baker that we're also going to review. You have Kenny Omega and Malachi Black in Series 2, and then you have the Lucha Bros in Series 3, but I love the packaging. I think the packaging is gorgeous. It is very big. I think once you have all these up on a shelf, whether they're library book displayed or whether you just have them straight up like this, I think you're going to have a whale of a time. It is beautiful packaging. I don't think the camera does it justice. It is beautiful. You guys can see it's almost like the AEW stage with the portal circle. You get the big, giant front viewing window of Cody here. At the top, you do get the AEW AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection logo. At the bottom, it says Cody Rhodes. 12 pieces. Nice lineage going through. What's really cool about these figures is you have all of the accessories in the side of the packaging. So you guys can see you have interchangeable arms. You have a completely new gear. That's what makes this figure line so special is that you have two figures in one practically. And if you really think about it, you actually have like four figures in one. Spinning it around on the other side, you do have all of your different accessories here. At the bottom, it says AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection. And then down here, you guys will notice they put an image of the talent on the left and then you have series one and the number of the figure on the side so that is really awesome cody jumped ship but he was the first figure in the supreme line and the unrivaled line on the back you get the great big aew unrivaled supreme collection logo you have of course the gear and where he wore it cody Rhodes signature and a giant image of cody Rhodes himself now he is in wwe and he has a supreme collection figure and an ultimate on the way so i know we don't have the ultimate here today man so we can't necessarily do a straight up comparison with the two but in that ultimate edition review we will be able to do that once we finally get that in hand but i cannot wait any longer man let's crack this supreme collection cody out of his packaging and find out what the supreme line is all about so here is our Supreme Collection Cody Rhodes figure out of the packaging, spinning round and round. And I got to say this immediately. My first impressions of the figure is just that it is a total experience. It is a total experience to get these Supreme Collection figures. And I think Supreme is a really great name for the line because I think it is just top notch. You know what I mean? I'm sitting here enjoying everything. I will say the packaging is a bit unique to figure out and it's kind of complicated to get out of the packaging. I may have opened it completely wrong or something, but I was struggling kind of hard. I had my X-Acto knife. I was cutting the tape and everything like that. You may notice in the video that I tried to like tape it back because it was all flaily. It was looking a bit rough there for a few minutes, but it is a total experience. Like taking out all the accessories, seeing what I've got, working with it, all those different things has been really, really enjoyable so far. But as a Supreme figure, you get a lot of accessories and we're going to break down all those accessories, break down all the playability of it, cover the figure itself, see what both sides of the attire look like. Like, because that's basically what Supremes are. They're two figures in one, and we're going to give you all those different options, showcase every single option you get, do some comparisons, do some swaps, because I know a lot of people want to know what certain heads, what certain bodies, what certain looks look like on this figure. We're going to do all of that in these videos. I'm very excited for Supreme Collection reviews going forward, and having this Cody figure is amazing, man. I am so looking forward to diving more into this review, and it has just been a total awesome experience so far, and I had to get those thoughts out of the way, but enjoying everything we got right here man supreme cody looking pretty damn good so with that being said man let's dive into the figures accessories that come with this thing and then we will cover the figure itself all right man so diving into cody Rhodes supreme accessories i'm not going to get into the tights or the torso right now we'll dive into that as we review the figure because that's kind of like its own embodiment we will look at it a bit because we are going to cover the interchangeable arms and the jacket accessory function of this action figure but let's start off let's start off with the jacket how about we do that let's start off with the jacket now for this jacket 
and it is your rubber style right it is the rubber style jacket it is what it is but it has a ton of texture and detail and you want to know why i'm not going to complain about the jacket it should honestly be pretty easy to understand this is a vest style jacket how many times have i got on this channel and talked about i don't really care about the vest if it's a vest and it's rubber i can get over that because it's not going to hinder the arm articulation okay this is like a vest it's just a very long vest now they do give you the arms which we'll cover here in a second that plug in here and now the jacket is articulated so we'll cover that in just a moment but i love all the details that you get on this jacket like if we zoom in here you guys can see it's got the american nightmare logo on the back you have tons of great detail in here all this is sculpted on it's got levels to it it's not just all painted on it is sculpted on there it's got very nice feel to it all these buckles and buttons it just reminds me of george washington right like this is my boy george washington right here is what this gear reminds me of major glory-esque just really patriotic american really beautiful attire really like this jacket a lot and this is great so if you want to use this function i do have the body right here with the butterfly joints we're not going to get into all that right now we are going to do an articulation segment but you will place the vest style jacket over the body like this and then you will take your arms and just plug them in just like that you guys hear the snap you literally just plug and play and then boom now you have your full functioning jacket see this looks aesthetically pleasing now we will look at the figure in its entirety with the jacket on here in a moment but this is just really beautiful man like this is not going to bother me because i can still pose him in said jacket with the vest on there but that is what you get for your jacket accessory now if you want to pull this off all you got to do is unplug the arm there and unplug the arm there and then remove this and then you will plug in your second bit of arms which look like this and they are pinless we do have pinless arms right here and it's the same function you will literally just plug this in and now you have a full functioning wrestling gear cody and you just plug that in there and bam now look at me now that's my two interchangeable arms you get two pairs of interchangeable arms here for the accessories you have your jacket arms which are very nicely sculpted as well they look really good we can maybe look at that in a moment as well like the you know the details in there but these arms look good they look slightly like they're just a lot better they really are a lot better just because they don't have those pins sticking out and i will say that the elbows feel more stiff they do not feel as flimsy as they did you know how like they won't stay in a specific pose these will actually stay in a specific pose when you bend them you know how usually when you bend them and then it'll retract back to its original form this actually has a uh, a better quality to it like the the plastic is definitely more quality with the supremes i would say now we'll cover more in depth of that when we get into the articulation but i did want to cover the interchangeable arms accessories that you get with this supreme collection cody now outside of your jacket and your interchangeable arms you do get interchangeable hands and for those interchangeable hands you do get your regular gripping hands you know your style grappling you have the right hand with the hand tape and then you do have the left one with his wedding ring tattoo on there so that's actually pretty quite detailed in the jacket arms you also have the fists so you guys can see they're the exact same but they are in a fist shape you guys can kind of see some of that detail that i'm talking about all this is sculpted on so this is like its own new arm mold with all of this sculpted like every single thing you're seeing here is sculpted that is that is fan freaking tastic it feels really good it feels quality it feels like a sleeve so that's really good right there might as well just cover that while we're covering these hands and the last pair of interchangeable hands you have are the mic holding hands so you have you know they're very similar to these but they are slightly different you guys can see the grip is a little bit wider then you have the right hand which is another mic holding hand with white tape so you guys can see that one as well very very similar now outside of your interchangeable hands you also get a cloth shirt with a nice graphic on it i like this graphic i'm gonna be dead honest with you bro i do not feel confident in putting this on the on the figure i do not want to stain it i don't care i'm not putting it on there until it is proven that this does not stain i'm not even going to take the risk you know what i mean i'm not taking the risk i don't even care it's got a great graphic on it it does have the velcro i don't think it would stain but i don't trust it i don't i don't trust it after the young bucks review i am just not gonna play with fire right now but it is a nice cloth accessory if it doesn't end up on a figure it'll end up on a figure that i'll never pick up again or it'll end up in the crowd or, or something of the or the drawer it may end up in the drawer if it can't be used with this figure you also get two different weight belts so here is the first one it says american nightmare it says cody road and then over here it has the s with the black buckle you got the double or nothing logo american flag design looks really really good i like this a lot very cool very clean looks good on the major glory gear george washington gear over here and then you have the all white belt that says nightmare with the american nightmare logo there and it is just a plain white belt and it does have the black buckle and it's white so you do get two options there and i'm sure that you could interchange these on other aew and rival cody's and maybe even the ultimates when we get those and the elites that we're going to get of cody and i do believe this is the same weight belt mold that we have seen with 
with every AEW Unrivaled Cody. And the last regular accessory you get with this is the AEW microphone. Bro, they will throw one of these in with anything. They'll just, like, a pack of cards, you may you may get an AEW microphone. You may open it up of AEW cards, and there'll just be an AEW figure microphone just chilling in there. You may order a, sh a shirt off Pro Wrestling Tees, you'll just find one of these in there, because they just love putting this with everything possible. But you do get another AEW microphone if you have it, if you don't have 27 already. And the last three accessories are his head sculpts, and it's kind of weird because I think I'm on the same planet as everybody else. These just look a bit goofy. They don't really look like uh, like Cody. I like the screaming one. The screaming one's really the only one that I think looks like Cody. This one right here, like the goofy smile, looks a bit weird. I think it favors Cody, but it's not the best likeness. You have the yelling one, which I think is the best, right? I mean, that just looks the best. And then you have the like wide open smile or opening mouth smile, and it looks like Cody, but it just looks a bit goofy. Now, I think what they were trying to do here is that they didn't want to include the same heads they've included with the TNT champion Cody and all the different unrivaled Cody's because I don't really think he could get better than the likeness that we already have. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think these are necessary and I think they wanted to avoid including the exact same heads that we've seen before. So they just decided to sculpt us new ones that ended up being worse than the originals. Like, this is the original yelling one. Looks just like Cody. This one looks like Cody as well. It's slightly different, but I think the likeness to Cody is stronger here. So you guys see what I'm saying? And then you have the mouth opening smiling one that looks just like Cody. So then they did this one and it looks, oh, it's like a slightly worse, less likeness version of this one over here. And it's like, they could have just included the screaming and the smiling from the uh, previous figures, except they didn't want to redo them yet again because we've seen them so many times. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Nonetheless, that is the accessories you get with the Supreme Collection. Let's dive into the two different figures you basically get with this Supreme Collection. So diving into the Supreme Cody himself at the top of the head sculpt. I went with the screaming head because I think it looks the best and the most likeness like Cody. I just think that the smiling heads are a bit goofy, but I'm sure anybody watching this video probably has one of those smiling heads from the Unrivaled 4 Cody or one of those other Codys. You probably have the smiling head at this point, so if you haven't, grab one. Go get the TNT. Go order the Supreme Cody and the TNT Cody using code MD Toys. but here's the screaming head. I think that the proportion looks good. There's the neck tattoo. I think the neck tattoo looks really good on its placement. Dream tattoo looks good. This is, of course, a brand new torso with the butterfly joints in here. We're, we're gonna go over the articulation, okay? One thing I can say is I feel like the butterfly joints are more loose than I would like. I would like them to be tighter. I don't want them to flail. It's not, like, horrific. Like, this one's a lot tighter, in my opinion, than this one over here. It's not horrific. Going down, you do have the pinless arms. Like, it did, good God. Dude, look how much aesthetically pleasing this looks compared to a regular unrivaled figure from, you know, back in the day or previous figures. We're gonna get into the comparisons, but there is the belt. There's that, like, Cody Rhodes that you guys can see there. It continues on. That was a nice touch. I love this gear. This gear is beautiful. I think it looks really great. I love all the panels, the Major Glory, George Washington, super patriotic gear with the blue, the gold, the black, white. All of it wrapping up looks insane. These are also pinless though. You guys will notice the tights and the gold. Oh my god, look how clean. This blue color is beautiful. Looks really, really good in person. I love it. You got your American Nightmare logo here with the gold and the black. Whoever designed this gear did a fantastic job. Did a fantastic job. It looks really, really good. And then you do have the boots here with the American flags on it, which look really sweet as well. So I love how you have the stripes going around and then you have your stars and stuff going around. White stuff. And then you have the Ultimate Edition style articulation down there on the boots, which I think is really good. Now, one thing about these is I feel like the lower knee right here is a bit loose. Again, it's not egregious, but it's definitely noticeable, but the it's, it doesn't really hinder the figure, you know? So if you stand him up and he's standing here and, and stuff like that, like, I don't think it's going to be egregious to where he's going to fall over. Like, he'll he'll support himself and, and everything like that, but getting into the articulation, he can look down really good. He can still look up really good regardless of the neck there. Now, these butterfly joints, you can go above 90 right here which is awesome you get the full rotation all the way around you do get your bicep swivel you get your double jointed arm here right in here it it just feels a little bit loose it's not like aj styles elite style loose where it's just going to be like flailing it it has a certain looseness about it but it still feels really good and i think that you know all that is important there this butterfly joint is really good so you can come across all the way and you can pretty much do an arms crossed right here like if you're trying to do the arms folded look pretty much possible Possible. Pretty much possible. He can reach back like he's doing chest flies. His chest fly articulation is really good. Ab crunch is really good. You could probably get deeper if you take the weight belt off, but you get a really good
really good ab crunch, split seats because he's on ball joints. He can kick forward decent. There's no hip displacement, but he can still kick forward pretty good. Not back because of the butt cheek flap. You get the upper thigh cut. You do get double jointed knee. You do get boot rotation, and you do have your ankle pivot. Your feet go up and down, and you have the toe pivot or toe articulation, which is really awesome. But as you guys know, this figure is not by itself. You get two gears. So this is the other body that you get. You have sort of, this kind of reminds me of like a new Japan Cody, the red and gold right here, which is really nice, which we're going to get into. But what you can do, all you have to do is pop that off right there and then plug and play. And bam, now we have two completely different Cody's and you can take this off and put the other weight belt on here. But uh, you guys already saw that in the accessories portion. Zooming in right here, this is our other tights. It's got the snake skin going through in the gold. The red is very vibrant and bright. The tights look insane. I love the way that the snake skin's coming out, you know, with all this glittery detail and the gold foil, the American Nightmare logos. Uh, we have been waiting on a Cody in some gear like this and, uh, forever, and it's just so cool to see it two in one. These are also pinless, as you can see, but the gold, the red, the snake skin, all looks great. You get two different pairs of boots. You have the American Nightmare boots with the plain white look over the America look or the, the United States flag. Oh my God in heaven, this is just so cool, bro. How you have two different, you have two completely different gears, and I just think that this is so fantastic, man. So fantastic. Like, I can't even get into it. I can't even describe it. And if you really think about it, if you were to unplug the arms here and then put on the jacket, now you have kind of a kind of a four-in-one figure. Okay, so you can go red and gold with or without the jacket, and then the major glory gear with or without the jacket. So I think that is awesome. So there is what the figure looks like with this gear on, which I think you can also get away with. I don't think that that ruins the aesthetic. I think you can absolutely have it both ways. I don't know if the Supreme Collection is going to retail. I don't know what the space is for that. I don't know if they will be available, but I do have my men on card set. I do have my one loose here for the review, and I am planning on getting more of this figure simply for the uh, customization factor, the fix-ups, the different things you can do with these, and that will be beautiful for surgery, but now that we've done this, man, let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, and let's find out what all kind of swippages and swappages we can do. So for your Cody figure comparisons, here is the Supreme Collection in the dead center, and from left to right, you have the AEW Unrivaled Series 1, you have the AEW Unrivaled Basic Ring UK Cody, the AEW Unrivaled Series 4, the TNT Ringside Exclusive, the Blood and Guts Ringside Exclusive, the AEW Unmatched Series 4, and the AEW Unrivaled Series 1B. Now, I do not have the Series 4 Chase or the Series 1 Chase, and I'm probably missing, uh, I guess, the Unmatched Series 4 Chase as well, but we've had quite a number of Cody's. Everybody always bished and complained about having Cody figures, and technically, we just added two more because you could take any of these figures and add them to these legs. We can take the AEW Unrivaled Series 4 right here, pop this off, and pop this onto this. And now, look at that. We have a whole new Unrivaled Cody on these new legs. And of course, you could put the weight belt on there, whatever, but that is incredible. So now, you could take, you could buy an extra Unrivaled 4, you could buy an extra Unrivaled Cody, and pop that torso onto here and have a completely new Cody figure at your disposal. And not only do you have that, but you could also take the new one, like this, and you can plop it onto this one over here, or any of the others. Now, some of these earlier Cody's are probably going to be a little bit different, just because the, I think the toy factory that they were made in was a little bit different, but look how badass that looks. Now we have a Supreme in the silver tights with the red and blue boots, and how sick would these boots be on these, or how sick would these boots be over here, or how sick would these boots be over here, you know what I mean? So that's what really makes it badass. So here is the UK, like that one's clean as hell, oh my god, I love the way that looks. I may have to, oh god, what have I done? What have I continued to do? What have I done some more? And you know it doesn't stop there because I can take what, the TNT Cody? Look at this, TNT Champion Cody with the shirt? Look at that. Now I have Yelling Cody on the blue tights with the American flag sleeveless gray shirt. And look how sick ass this looks now. So you just have so many different options and it makes it so fun and playable because everybody's display could be different. You know, you can, I mean, it's probably not realistic to get every single fix up and every single look that you could possibly do but you know what that's not gonna stop me from trying and then of course you can put that back on there or you know you could take the the supreme 
and I can put the Supreme on the ringside exclusive. Now I have a Supreme ringside exclusive with the butterfly joints. And it goes on and on. You can do this to any gear. You can do this to any attire. You can put this on anything. Unfreaking believable. And look at all these different tights options you have now. Like, just look at this. I mean, you basically could, and, and, and not even including, like, the boots, because there's so many boot options. This is four different boot options from four different Cody's. Not to include the Series 1 or any of the Chase figures. So, I mean, it's just unbelievable how many different tights and looks that you could make using all these figures, man. I'm having so much fun. Look at that. That is just, that's just a beautiful visual to look at. Knowing that I could just pop up. Like, you have all these different attires. Look at the fig feds now. He, he can rock a different gear for every show. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I, I just, I, I gotta get out of here before I have a conniption. And it wouldn't be a Supreme Collection review for the first time without an ultimate comparison. Here's our most recent ultimate edition with Roman Reigns compared to the Supreme Cody. And I just think that the ultimates look awkward, especially with this body type. You know, I just, I, I, I don't like the ab crunch. I feel like this torso specifically for Roman Reigns that they use and just the way his figure looks a bit is just a bit awkward. Like, I think the Supreme looks a lot more just uniform and it just looks a lot more proportionate, I guess, if you guys are noticing that. But it is cool to see these up next to each other and seeing, you know, the top of the top for the brands here for the accessories, articulation, all that. But all in all, like, I, since I only have a Supreme to compare to, like, 14 series of Ultimates, kind of difficult to say. I mean, you could take your best Ultimate. It still isn't going to have the ab crunch that the Cody has. I think it's too early to declare, you know, a winner right now. You know, we only have one to compare to 14. I think that, you know, we'll have to do a better job of that. We will have our Britt Baker comparison to do with maybe an Ultimate Edition female figure. You guys know that the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey is one of my favorite women's figures of all time. It may be number one, so we'll see how Britt Baker can stack up to that, but I like to see these up next to each other. It's cool to see, and uh, yeah, I just think that overall, the proportions on the Ultimates are a little bit wonky, especially with this different torso and the wide shoulders, specifically with this torso, but uh, you know, it, it can come across in other torsos as well. But I think that pretty much wraps up our first ever AEW Unrivaled Supreme Collection action figure review, man. Had a ton of fun with the review. I think the future for this line is super bright with this Cody figure. I think it was an excellent first start. I think that it's not perfect, right? It's not perfect yet. I think we're going to improve as we go through. I cannot wait to see where the line goes. I can't wait to see what talent that we get in this line. Really, really enjoyed it. I love that you get a two-in-one. You guys can kind of see here that I have both display options here or two of the four, really, because you can have, you know, coat on with the red and gold. You can have coat off with the red and gold. You can have coat on with the major glory tights is what I'm going to call them. Only real ones know who major glory is. I'm loving the ringside exclusive torso on the blue tights with the shirt. That is the, you know, the TNT champion with the yelling head sculpt. I think that looks fantastic. I think that the whole get up from top to bottom is insane. But I had a ton of fun with the review. I think that the biggest cons that I see with this figure are kind of like the butterfly joints are a bit loose and sometimes the bare arms get a little bit loose. Now, I don't know exactly what they can do there. It's not like insane, like horrible throw it out the window. But for this price point, I think that it's something that has to be addressed. It has to be addressed. I do not know exactly what the deal is there, but got to go back to the drawing board. Whatever we can do to tighten up the butterfly joints, whether that's make them out of a different material, make them slightly larger, or, or fill in those gaps a bit tighter. I don't know exactly what the deal is there. You know, I'm not in the toy creating process. I'm not in the toy creation business, but I think this baseline of what we got has a ton of potential. You have so many accessories. You have so many things going on with the figure. I think it's a beautiful mock figure. I think that if you're going to buy any Cody, this would be the Cody to buy. For all the bells and whistles you get, you know, I still think the ringside exclusive is a damn good figure, especially for the price point to the accessories to the gear. I think everything wrapped up in one there is very, very nice. But at the end of the day, this Supreme Collection Cody is fantastic and it's worth the grab. I cannot wait for the Kenny Omega and the Malachi Black. And we also have the Britt Baker that we have to review. But this Supreme Cody is fantastic, man. And I think that it is absolutely worth the grab. I'm so excited that we finally have it here. It was fun to get through the review with you guys. I want to know what you guys think of this down in the comments section below. What do you guys think of all the opportunities you have with this figure with swapping and the fix-ups and everything? I think my whole entire deal with the Supreme collection is it is just a great experience. I feel like I'm unboxing a really great collectible and I think that is awesome and that that's what I think about there. But anyways man before we get out of here let's get into our random shout out and this shout out is going to go to Aldo Hero who says dude I can't tell you how much I appreciate you MDT without your video I don't think I'd ever return to collecting figures without your videos. I've been collecting wrestlers for a year now when I started collecting again I don't have a big collection like I 
used to, but I'm working towards it. Thank you for always dropping bangs. Keep it up. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the kind words. Always trying to put out top tier content for you guys. Trying to always raise the bar and trying to give you guys the best quality product that I possibly can. But I hope you guys do enjoy the reviews. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos that we put up here on the channel. I know lately that it's been a ton of reviews, but it's just because they've been dropping so, so much. And I have to review all of these things, man. I have to review all of these things and get them out. So once all these new figures are reviewed, we can calm down on that. I know that we want to rank and get the My Damn Thoughts out on Elite 95 and Unrivaled Series 10. We'll probably do a two in one day when we drop those. But a huge shout out to Aldo Harrow for the nice comment. Thank you guys for watching. I'm getting the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. And if you don't like this Supreme line, you cross the line.